Hello, my name is Marcin Kelly, and I worked on the Ultimate QC 1.0 project during the fall semester of 2015. My product owner is Rodrigo Morales, who works for Produce Inspectors of America. My instructor is Masood Sajadi. Most of the modern day practices used to inspect produce is visual. This is a slow process where inspectors examine crates of produce in a refrigerated environment. Spending long periods of time in a refrigerated environment can take its toll on the inspectors. They can miscount the produce, overlook defects such as mold, or enter typos into their reports to name a few examples. For this project, I developed a program to help alleviate some of the human error that can occur and help reduce the time spent on the inspection process. Produce Inspectors of America's main produce are blueberries, so this project focuses on that. The way Ultimate QC works is the inspector loads a blueberry image and the program counts the blueberries and detects immature blueberries. I spent the first half of this semester developing the Count Blueberries program and the remainder working on the blueberry recognition and the immature blueberry programs. The user stories implemented this semester are Count, where the program counts the produce in the image, Contour, where the program outlines the counted produce and defective produce in the image. Recognize. The program recognizes the produce in the image. Defects. The program detects defects and counts them. And finally, Calculate, where the program calculates the percentage of defective produce. There are four use cases for Ultimate QC, Count, Contour, Recognize, and Defects, and one actor, the inspector. Here are sequence diagrams of two significant use cases. In the count use case, the inspector selects a blueberry image from storage and the program counts the berries and displays the image with the count and berries outline. In the defects use case, the program finds the defects, counts them, and calculates the percentage. Then it displays the image with the count, percentage, and the defective berries outlined. The architectural patterns used are the three-tier architecture and piping filter. The interface layer includes the inspector interface subsystem, which deals with the user requests such as counting blueberries. The application logic layer has a defect management and berry management subsystems, and they process the images, detect blueberries, count them, and look for defects. The storage layer has a data storage subsystem, which handles the storage and retrieval of images. In the pipe and filter architecture, the inspector interface subsystem gets images from the data store subsystem and outputs that into the berry management subsystem. There, the image is processed and it sends its output back to the inspector interface. The inspector interface can send info from this output into the defect management and data store subsystems. The defect management subsystem process the input and send the output to the inspector interface, which can send info from this output into the data storage subsystem. In the deployment diagram, the inspector interface subsystem will reside on any computer that the system is installed on, and it is connected to the data storage subsystem that resides on a server so that any computer that has a subsystem installed on it will have access to all of the same photos. The berry management and defect management subsystems also resides on any computer that the system is installed on and they interact with the inspector interface subsystem. In the class diagram, the display class handles the user requests such as counting the blueberries. The detector class finds blueberries and defects. The count class counts the blueberries. The outline class outlines the blueberries and defective berries and the storage class uploads the photos. Here is some pseudocode of the main algorithm. It allows the user to select an image. If the image does not contain any blueberries, it displays the image saying that there are no blueberries detected. Else the program continues and extracts the blueberries and any defects detected. It counts the berries and defects, then displays the image with the berries and defects outlined and the count and percentage at the top of the image. Here are two test cases for the defects use case. 
The first one tests that the system counts the detected immature blueberries, outlines them in red, and give the percentage in an image that has defects. The second tests that the system does not detect immature blueberries in an image with no defects and returns the defect count and percentage equal to zero. Finally, here is a demo of the program. After running the program, the user selects an image and the program displays the image with the berries outlined and counted. As you can see, there are 28 blueberries and there are no immature blueberries detected in the image. Running the program on another image, you can see that some immature berries have been detected and that they make up 3.4% of the produce. This concludes the introductory video for the Ultimate QC system. Thank you.